And Feeding San Diego is working on new emergency food distributions in the North County. The organization is breaking records in food giveaways during the COVID-19 pandemic. Join us now to talk more about a food giveaway, which is set for tomorrow, is Gavin Morris. Good to see you, Gavin. How are you? I am doing very well. Thank you. So tell us what people need to know about the food giveaway tomorrow. Sure. Well, the, the distribution tomorrow will be held at Palomar College at 9 a.m. Um, in San Marcos. And we're teaming up with the San Diego and Imperial County's Labor Council to provide meals to uh, 600 households. So this is a drive through distribution. Um, it's first come, first serve. Um, we adhere to all those social distancing practices. Um, all those amazing volunteers will load up healthy, nutritious food into trunks of people in need. What time does it start? 9 a.m. Okay. So are you expecting people to get there before then, I would imagine? Yes. Uh, there will be a number of people lining up to make sure that they can get um, the food that they need. So we can accommodate up to 600 vehicles um, at that distribution tomorrow morning. Do they have to show anything or do they just say, hey, you know, I'm having a difficult time putting food on the table and, and that's enough? No questions asked. There's no eligibility requirement. So um, we really want to provide a meaningful, high dignity experience. So anyone in need that's facing the challenging economic climate right now can go in and get food that they need for their families. Do you have a sense of how many meals you've provided since the pandemic began? It's been pretty astronomical. So if you look at kind of mid-March to the end of June, um, Feeding San Diego has provided more than seven. 0.9 million meals to the local community, which has all primarily been funded through private support. So the majority of our operating budget is, is all through private philanthropy. That's fantastic. When you say private support, you mean like organizations and, and individuals? Correct. Yes. Uh, how can an individual donate if they want to? Should they just go on your website and, and you provide it that way? Yeah, the easiest way to do that is to visit our website at feedingsandiego.org. Um, click on the Give Today button, and um, every dollar that's donated can help provide up to four meals. And we're able to do that because we have some incredible partnerships um, with food donors and our community partners that really allows us to be incredibly efficient um, and maximize the return on every donor's dollar. How terrific. I know you're supporting young people who are facing hunger this summer as well, and you've got a number of sites for that, right? We do, yes. In mid-March, um, after the COVID-19 hit, we launched 11 youth meal sites um, to provide free breakfasts and lunches uh, for children and youth um, at 18 and under. Um, and this week, we just actually launched another 11. We expect another one to go online later this month. Um, so these are uh, basically to-go meals that are prepared either hot or cold um, for anyone, children and youth that um, are in need of food. The children don't have to be present in order for households to get that food. So parents or guardians can come to that distribution um, as long as they provide the names of those children and be able to take those meals to go. So it's a really great way for families in need to get some food assistance over the summer months. If somebody either wants to donate or maybe they're interested in getting some food is the best way to maybe just go to the website and then I'm sure you've got all the information about when and where uh, to go for different meals. Yeah, that is the best way. So at feedingsanago.org, if you click on the Get Help button, um, we actually have a food finder map, which lists every distribution, including those that we've talked about today, so that families can easily enter their zip code and find a convenient location near them. So we actually have hundreds of distribution sites throughout the county, um, the majority of them that require no that have no eligibility restrictions. So it's really easy, uh, no paperwork, no hassle, um, and uh, accessible for people who need it most. Well, you're doing a great job, Gavin Morris with Feeding San Diego. Good luck tomorrow and beyond. Thank you. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.